Good day everyone. My name is JC Sikel Dimson. Join me as we listen attentively. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. One, two, one, two, three, four, three. Let's bow our heads and pray. Our Heavenly Father, thank you for making me an amazing and wonderful way. We love you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our memory verse of the day is found in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 29. Don't use foul or abusive language. Let everything you say be good and helpful, so that your words will be an encouragement to those who hear them. Please repeat it with me. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 29. Don't use foul word. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 29. Don't use foul or abusive language. Let everything you say be good and helpful so that your words will be an encouragement to those who hear them. Oh, be careful little eyes what you see. Oh, be careful little eyes what you see. There's a father up above looking down in tender love. Oh, be careful, little eyes, what you see. Oh, be careful, little ears, what you hear. Oh, be careful, little ears, what you hear. There's a father up above looking down in tender love. Oh, be careful, little ears, what you hear. Oh, be careful, little tongue, what you say. Oh, be careful, little tongue, what you say. There's a father up above looking down in tender love. Oh, be careful, little tongue, what you say. Oh, be careful, little hands, what you do. Oh, be careful, little hands, what you do. There's a father up above looking down in tender love. Oh, be careful, little hands, what you do. Be careful, little feet, where you go. Oh, be careful, little feet, where you go. There's a father up above, looking down in tender love. Oh, be careful, little feet, where you go. Today is a day that the Lord has made. Welcome to our Children's Church Show. Happy New Year, Kuya Al. How was your celebration? Hi, Teacher Leah. It's great to see you again. I was with my family and we attended church together. Wow! Of course, I remember we had our Bible trivia questions and gave out prizes to the, to the congregation after the Sunday celebration. Yes, everybody had so much fun. Did you also enjoy Teacher Leah being a game master with me? Yes, definitely, Kuya Al. But do you know what time it is? What? It's... Story time! This is the rod and on a boat that is used to steer it in the right direction. The rudder is small, but it changes the boat direction of the large boat. Or think of a ship, big as it is and driven by such strong winds. It can be steered by a very small rudder and it goes wherever the pilot wants it to go. The small piece of metal and horse mouth is called a bit. We put a bit into the mouth of a horse to make it obey us and we are able to make it go where we want. When the rider pulls on the reins, the bit moves in the horse's mouth indicating what direction to go and when to stop. So it is with a tongue. 
small as it is, it can boast about great things. What you say can direct your life. Our words can be good and bring peace, or they can be a bad and cause harm. The, the tongue is a small part of the body, but it boasts about doing great things. Just think how a large forest can be set on fire by a tiny flame. And the tongue is like a fire. It is a world of wrong, occupying its place in our bodies and spreading evil through our whole being. It sets on fire the entire course of our existence with a fire that comes to it from hell itself. We humans are able to tame and have tamed all other creatures, wild animals and birds, reptiles and fish. But no one has ever been able to tame the tongue. It is evil and uncontrollable full of deadly poison. We use our tongues to praise God, but then we say harmful things about others. Those good and bad water flow from the same spring, a swell full of salty water cannot give good water. We should be careful to use our tongues to say things that please God. A fig tree, my friends, cannot bear olives. A grapevine cannot bear figs, nor can a salty spring produce sweet water. Now, let's prepare our hearts and minds as we listen to Chaplain Josh. Hello, children! Happy New Year! In James 3, verse 1 to 12, James warns that tongue can say good and bad. In the Bible, in the book of James, we learn that our tongue may be very small, but they control what we say. They can control the directions of our lives. Be careful what you say. Your words can hurt or encourage. According to Proverbs 13.3, those who control their tongue will have a long life. Opening your mouth can ruin everything. Try to say good things, regardless of who is around. If you have nothing good to say, don't utter a sound. Ephesians 4.29 says, Don't use foul or abusive language. Let everything you say be good and helpful, so that your words will be an encouragement to those who hear them. In Colossians 4.6, your speech should always be pleasant and interesting. And you should know how to give the right answer to everyone. Once we say words, they cannot be taken back. Proverbs 18.21 says, The tongue can bring death or life. Those who love to talk will reap the consequences. We need God to use our tongue wisely. Hanggang sa muli po. God bless you and praise the Lord. Thank you, Chaplain Josh, for the Word of God you shared today. Did you know that? The tongue has a power of life and death. This is something we need to be conscious of every single time we open our mouth. Dear God, thank you for giving me a home, toys, a car to ride in, and family who loves me. Please help me to be more loving and respectful to myself and others. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen! Our words can help others, and our words can hurt others. Totally agree, Teacher Leah. Wise people think before they act. God, God bless and, and goodbye! goodbye.